Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Hot David here. Um, I am here to talk about No Way Home and uh, also um, other Marvel productions. So, um, I just got out of the theater of No Way Home and, uh, holy crap, <laughs> there's so much to talk about. Um, spo I, I want to get this out of the way. There will be major spoilers for the movie. If you have not seen this movie, please don't watch this video until you have, unless you really don't care. But even if you don't care, please just go, go watch it anyway, because it's really, really good. Um... So I just wanted to talk about No Way Home and um, also give my Marvel rankings because I've not done that before. So um, No Way Home was, in my opinion, easily the best Spider-Man film ever created uh, to date. Uh, there's not really for me. There's no competition um, into this. Well, that's not true. Into the Spider-Verse is an incredible movie, um, but I mean, No Way Home really blew it out of the park. Um, like I said, there's major spoilers in this video, so please, please do not watch this if you have not seen the movie. Go see it. Go see the movie before you continue watching this video. Um, I've warned you. <laughs> um, but, dude, Toby and Andrew, like, in this in this movie, like, holy crap. I mean, we also had a really great audience in our theater, so, I mean, we were uh, cheering the whole time. Um, we were sad in the moments that were sad. I mean, it was crazy. And... and you know, it might just be off uh, the uh, just right off the theater press hype, but I mean, I I just don't see this a scenario where this movie is not viewed highly by me as much as it is right now. There's only I'll get into this in the rankings, but I mean, it, it is like it it's up there. It's it's easily one of the best Marvel movies ever made um, for me. I mean, of course, it had its issues, um, but I mean. For now, I, I have very strong impressions on um, the movie and what it has done for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's crazy. I mean, we're getting Venom stuff, as seen in the end credits, the Doctor Strange um, trailer at the end, giving us, you know, insight into what's coming up next for him. Just in the ending, and Aunt May's death too, I mean, just the whole thing. I, I'm, I'm blown away and Will, Willem Dafoe's performance was really my biggest takeaway from the movie I mean he really outshined every single one of the other villains um he was genuinely terrifying I mean the first initial fight sequence with him and Peter uh, I mean would you just uh, Willem Dafoe is just a amazing actor amazing actor and the uh, production team of this movie just really an outstanding job with what with what they made um it, it's just it i can't even rave more about it. it i wish i could literally talk to somebody but this is why i'm posting my thoughts on the internet because i hope i can get people talking about it with me um i just i'm blown away by this movie it gets a certified 10 out of 10 for me um it, it's just it it is incredible there's not a, i mean there's not a single movie that does not have its flaws other than infinity war but you know um <laughs> um it's just, it's just, I can't even, I can't even believe it. Uh, so that is thoughts on uh, No Way Home. I'll probably talk more about it when I get to it in the uh, rankings. But uh, for now, we're going to start off the rankings. So I have six tiers uh, from D to S+. And um, obviously D is the uh, worst of the Marvel bunch. And S+, plus would be the uh, absolute best. Um, S would be the best, but you know, S plus is just better. It's just, there's a little, little bit of a difference in quality when we get to the S plus. Um, so I want to start right off the bat with the worst Marvel production. And that is got to be worth the dark world. Um, I don't really need to explain this. I'm not really going to go super in depth with my, most of my uh, picks, but, um, yeah, um, Thor actually Thor one is actually slight only slightly better than Thor two um I like the story kind of uh it's better it's definitely better than Thor one it's better better uh Thor two definitely better paced um but it's just it it's so slow half the time um obviously Thor isn't developed at this point so his character just is not very enjoyable so I do I personally think Thor is one of the worst ones um even worse than the Incredible Hulk um, no explanation needed there either. 
Um, and the only other movie in uh, the tier is Iron Man 2. Uh, Iron Man 2 uh, has the arguably the worst villain. Um, well, maybe some others are worse, um, but um, Iron Man 2 is a really bad villain. Um, and it's pretty slow in some parts. And it's just not a fan of the movie really that much at all. Alright, let's go to C tier. These movies are passable. Uh, definitely movies you should watch, but they've got a lot of flaws with them. So, uh, first up is Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel is an interesting movie. Um, I'm not going to explain it much either, uh, but I wasn't a huge fan of this one. Uh, definitely definitely one of Marvel's weaker things. I think it might have been part, part of it might have been, uh, you know, it's between Infinity War and Endgame. I mean, we got two of the best uh, Marvel films in existence <laughs> in this one kind of slid through as a, a rough a rough one um, not Marvel's best and uh, maybe my opinion will change it in the future but uh, for now uh, it is certainly one of Marvel's weaker points uh, and that's okay they're not gonna make bangers every single time uh, next up is Guardians 2 uh, I think everybody on the internet can agree that Guardians 2 is absolutely worse than Guardians 1 um, not that it's a bad movie, um, but it's got its flaws. Um, Twist, of course, really great, um, but I'm not a huge fan of much else. I'm, I personally, I'm actually not a huge fan of the Guardians at all, uh, but I know people are. So, uh, all right, next up is Iron Man three. Um, definitely the most mid Iron Man movie. I mean, literally, because it's the middle of my two Iron Mans. Um, it's good. Uh, the villain's weird. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. And next is Falcon Wonder Soldier. Uh, really great story. Um, some of the characters just felt weird. Uh, mainly uh, the... Uh, I, I, I haven't watched this show since it came out. <laughs> so I can't remember the characters' names. But uh, the one, uh, the super soldier, the female super soldier. Um, she was... I didn't really feel bad about her death. Like, I didn't really feel... It didn't feel compelling. And that was one of the main... Uh, arcs of the show, so um, I think they could have developed on that, and maybe they will. You never know, but um, of course, the chemistry between uh, Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie are is immaculate. Um, so, I mean, it's definitely not Marvel's best, but uh, it's certainly, certainly a good show um, in its own regards. Okay, now we're moving on to B tier. These these ones are actually starting to get really, really good, uh, but they also have their flaws. Um, and are kind of uh, mid, if you will, at least for Marvel. Um, certainly not bad movies at all. Um, just not the most notable, in my opinion. So next we've got Ant-Man. Um, all right, so Ant-Man is the first in B tier. Really funny movie. I actually rewatched it recently, and I was surprised at how good it was. I remember thinking it was bad, uh, and I think a lot of people on the internet tend to think of it as a mid movie. And while that is literally the case in this tier list, it is certainly a really good movie. Um, huge fan of uh, Paul Rudd, of course. He's a great actor and uh, <laughs> really pulls off the character. Of course, Hank Pym and Hope, um, really great characters as well. Um, Villain is one of the weaker ones. Uh, I'd say it's better than Iron Man 2's, but I mean, not much. Um, okay, next up is, this is controversial, but I don't really care because it's my opinions and you can shut up. Uh, where even is it? Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, definitely a good movie, um, but I, I'm, I'm still as astonished at how much the internet praises this to be one of Marvel's best movies um, because of it having a good soundtrack. Uh, a movie can have a good soundtrack and not be the greatest movie ever made by mankind. So um, I stand by that opinion. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's a great movie. Uh, certainly worth a watch. Um, if you watch this even. Um, it's just, it is certainly not Marvel's best, and people definitely overrate it, so, uh, for that reason it goes in B. Oh, well, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't go in B because it's overrated, but it goes in B because it's actually, where it actually belongs. Um, okay, next is, well, I, actually, I could see people arguing A, uh, for Dr. Guardians of the Galaxy, totally, totally viable. Um, next, actually, this might be controversial too, is actually Doctor Strange. Um, not much explanation for this, um. Other than the villain, I mean, a lot of Marvel's earlier stuff really didn't have the greatest villains. Um, but I mean, it, this villain was kind of oof. Um, and also, I mean, a lot of Doctor Strange's uh, cool stuff in the movie is the visuals. And 
that was about it. Other than this, his uh, origin as well. His origin was great. Um, definitely a great movie to watch, but about its weak points for sure. And um, I'm actually going to move this next one to C, or sorry, A. Um, I think I underrated it in my list. I'm going to put Avengers in A. I have it on B for my list, but I think that's a bit underrated. So I'm going to keep that there. Okay. So, Avengers uh, also has its weak points. Uh, one of Mar Marvel's first initial crossovers. I mean, it is Marvel's first initial crossover. I mean, it, it's got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the original six crossing over and um, plus Loki. And we, we start to love Loki. Well, actually, we hate Loki here because of how much of an ass he is. Um, but people started to love Loki. And uh, anyway, uh, Avengers is really good. Uh, definitely one of Marvel's. Um, I wouldn't say Avengers one is like bad. I mean, it is definitely I'd I'd say the weakest out of all four Avengers movies, which is I know a hot take. Um, but um, I think um, Age of Ultron is better, and always will be better. Um, but yeah, that's all I'll say about that. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp is an A as well. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp is an excellent movie. Uh, definitely also kind of underrated among the Marvel stuff. And it is, I mean, I think any everybody that's ever watched them can also agree that um, Ant-Man and the Wasp is better than the original. Um, which is hard to do for a sequel, so good on them um, for doing that. So, uh, really great movie. Uh, next up is Black Widow. Um, in terms of Phase 4 stuff, definitely one of the mid uh, movies uh, in Phase 4, but I mean, overall as a movie, it is quite good. Um, the one thing it suffers from, and the, probably the only reason it's an A, really, is its villain. Uh, its villain is Ass, and this is the villain I think is actually worse than Iron Man 2's. Um, he is just a typical, uh, annoying, powerful white man, um, you know, just... And he's stinky, so as as Moist Critical would say best. Um, so that's the only reason, really, it's an A. Um, it could be an S if it had a decent villain. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually a really good movie overall. Other than that, uh, next up is Iron Man, and I know this is also a hot take. I have a lot of hot takes, I guess. Um, not even realizing it until now. Um, Iron Man is uh, definitely a good movie. Uh, definitely one of obviously Marvel's first initial jump into cinematic universe um it's very good definitely uh, i don't know I, I would say it's not marvel's strongest kind of tired of people putting it in not tired of but i mean slightly frustrating to see people uh, people put iron man in the same tier as infinity war or endgame or whatever because obviously uh, anyone that sensible I uh, can, can understand that it's definitely not on the same level as those movies. I mean, there's not even a question. I could see someone arguing for S, but definitely no, uh, no higher than that. Um, next up is, uh, where is it? WandaVision. WandaVision was really interesting at the start in a bad way. I mean, interesting in a, um, slow, halting start, um, However, it quickly picked up, uh, like, after episode 3-ish. I mean, there are a lot of questions that we had in episode 1 and 2, because episode 1, literally nothing weird happened, I think, besides the ending. Um, in episode 2, there was just that one helicopter thingy. I mean, you get the point. I mean, it had a slow start. Um, but, I mean, overall, the show was really, really good. Um, and addressed Wanda and Vision's, you know, uh, stuff. So it was really good. And we got the awesome Agatha twist and awesome Agatha theme. So, really great show. Uh, suffered from its beginning, but other than that, very good. And last, but certainly not least, of the A is Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron is way overhated. Um, this movie is good. Very good. Um, I would argue it could belong in S. But I don't know about that. We'll have to see how I feel at the end. Um... Age of Ultron is really good. Um, I think people that really hate Age of Ultron just knew Ultron from the comics um, and was disappointed with the way he was portrayed. And while I can see, I understand that, um, he 
Ultron is not the only person in this movie and only thing in this movie. <laughs> Um, the heroes had really great arcs. Um, a lot of really interesting things happened with Wanda's introduction and, um, you know, Vision's introduction. I mean, there were a lot of moving parts in this movie that worked in the Hulk uh, versus Iron Man fight. I mean, come on. Like, some of the greatest action scenes um, in this movie. Um, it's, I don't know. A lot of, a lot of uh, important parts in this movie that actually were really good. Um, there's a lot of humor, too, that a lot of people forget about. The, uh, the uh, iconic language line. I thought it was really funny when I saw it in theaters. Alright, and now we're going to get into S. These movies are really, really good now. Like We're getting into like literally like some of the best of Marvel, but obviously not the best because there's a whole other tier above it. But uh, alright, let's start with uh, the bottom of S, which is Spider-Man Homecoming. A uh, great movie. Um, I, I was in love with Tom Holland since Civil War, but... Um, you know, a lot of people were uh, skeptical because it's a third Spider-Man on the screen. They're like, oh man, great, another Spider-Man. Uh, kind of like Batman, the whole thing with Batman and, you know, people just getting tired of seeing new people. Why not just stick with the original? But Tom Holland killed it, um, is killing it, the Spider-Man. Um, he is undeniably the best live-action Spider-Man. I mean, you can say all you want about Andrew and Toby, and I'm sorry, but I will not... Um, I will not agree in any way. I mean, No Way Home only further proved that Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man. Um, it's a whole other topic for another video, maybe, if I'm feeling it. But um, for now, I just got to say that Homecoming was really good. Great start. Um, out of the three um, Spider-Man movies, though, it, I mean, it, was, it was the weakest, only because it was kind of, I don't know, super low stakes. Uh, but, but Peter's, like, pretty much origin story was really great, really great stuff. Um, other than that, I mean, literally, one of the one of the better Marvel movies for sure. Um, I think this is underrating for a lot of people, but um, Thor Ragnarok, um, really great movie. Um, Thor is uh, obviously this movie's strongest suit is humor. This is undoubtedly the funniest, mm, not maybe not undoubtedly, but one of Marvel's funniest movies. Um, and it was kind of out of left field because I mean Thor is normally especially in his first two movies, was associated as a very serious character and um, kind of like flipped on, that kind of flipped on its head in this movie. And uh, we saw Thor kind of transform into someone else and it, I mean, he really finished his arc. Um, not finished his arc, but at least his trilogy's arc and it, it was it was great. It was really, really good in the action sequences and the soundtrack. I mean, this movie is stellar. One of the, one of the better Marvel productions. Certainly not the best, uh, but of course, you can't forget about riding the rock. Um, next up is Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, I won't really say much about it. Um, I think a lot of people can understand why it's so high in the list. It's a great movie. I think it's better than Homecoming. All enough said. Um, Black Panther, number ten. Um, Black Panther was a really great movie. I mean, it it, it had a really uh, had diverse. Um, characters and a diverse culture introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe which was kind of the first of its kind um, um, and it was really good it was excellent um, the soundtrack of this movie is phenomenal and of course Killmonger being one of Marvel's best villains uh, second to only Thanos probably um, is just stellar Michael B. Jordan kills it um, Chadwick Bo Boseman obviously killed it um, and he's just you know it's a great movie. Um, next up, uh, another Phase Four item is Eternals. I was astonished at how good this movie was. Um, Eternals is a great, a great movie. Um, I was un unexpectedly attached to pretty much all the characters, um, other than Ajax, maybe. Um, but I mean, Eternals was a really strong um, opener for this team of heroes. And, um, you know, I was actually, I was just I was blown away at how well it was executed. Um, favorite Eternal, I'd have to say either Druig or Gilgamesh, Rip Gilgamesh. But, um, you know, I do be like that. Um, but Druig probably is my favorite living <laughs> Eternal. Um, sorry, I guess I should have announced spoilers, but this movie is a month and a half old. If you haven't seen it, that sucks. Um, and you, because you probably don't care about it anyway. Anyway, um, number eight, uh, is... Cap 1. 
underrated movie. Um, Cap 1 is um, one of Marvel's best origin stories, uh, without a doubt. Um, I mean, it was it was just excellent in its execution. Um, it sure is slow at times. Um, that's only really the downfall it has. And even then, its slow parts are, are entertaining. Um, I think Steve's transformation into a hero... A field like he's always wanted to be is just it's just amazing and he you know the ending is tragic and he uh his arc goes all the way through through to end game and it's just it's just beautiful a uh, beautiful start character uh definitely my favorite character of moral cinematic universe um and i think his first movie is amazing and highly underrated and the last movie i'm gonna put an s is shang chi another surprise for me uh shang chi i knew nothing about shang chi and i was blown away at the quality of this movie this film was excellent if you have not seen it go go watch it on disney plus uh highly recommend highly 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 recommend go see it um it i mean exceeded any expectation i thought i had um it was just excellent uh the bus scene will forever live on it's one of the best action sequences i've ever seen in a movie period um and it, it was just incredible and the cgi even at the end was was really great um and um one of marvel's best villains as well uh the tony leung killed it um i mean uh, dude i this movie was amazing and you have if you haven't seen it i'm serious you got to see it really great stuff if you care about marvel and even if you don't this is a great entry point especially in the phase four as we start getting more serious uh with the multiverse and stuff all right, and now we get into Marvel's absolute best. Um, I guess I should say that I'm, at this point, as you might be, have been able to tell, um, Hawkeye, Agent Carter, and What If are not being rated. Um, I saw What If on, in its entirety, but I don't feel comfortable uh, putting it on this list uh, with other Marvel things. I thought it was really good, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, I don't feel it's fair to compare it to the films, and it's not right to totally different approach to stuff um if i had to put it anywhere it would either belong in b or maybe a i think probably b um so yeah just wanted to touch on that and agent carter i haven't seen it's not mcu actually and um i guess technically it is but i just it hasn't been connected in any way and hawkeye is not finished yet so we have to wait on that so the remaining six are the ones on the left so uh, we're going to start with number six, which is Loki. Another phase four banger. I mean, dude, I, I'm <laughs> phase four is blowing me away. I mean, I, I understand the connection people have with Loki as a character when he was a villain. Uh, but I mean, his, his transformation in the show is incredible. Um, Tom Hiddleston kills it as Loki. And, um, of course, um, Sylvie's actress, I forget, I don't know her name, um, but, I mean, she did great, too, and it, it was just an unexpected joy. This is one of Marvel, this is absolutely Marvel's best show so far. Um, there's not even a debate, really, for me. Um, it, it, it has such good pace throughout the whole thing, and uh, there's just so much emotion I did not expect to have. Episode 5 had the bawling, and I'm, I'm not sure that's a shared emotion that people have with uh, this show. But it is, it, it just, I'm, I was blown away at just the quality of this show and um, its character arcs and everything and everything it has to affect the uh, multiverse as we know it. Uh, yeah, excellent show. And I think this might be solidified as one of Marvel's greatest projects. Um, we'll see how that goes later down the line. <clears throat> uh, for now, we'll move on to Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Uh, I I share actually, actually, actually. Uh, these both Civil War and Winter Soldier I think are interchangeable in terms of quality. Um, Winter Soldier and Civil War share many qualities, especially in action. Their pacing in action and even in story are quite similar, um, but obviously have different plot points. Uh, very different plot points that affect uh, my view of the movie. I would personally put Civil War higher, but I understand people have such a um, love for Winter Soldier and uh, its twist. Um, 
I actually never saw the movie in theaters, so I mean I can naturally understand the uh, the connection people have with that reaction in the theaters. Um, so um, very uh, really great movies, both of these. I mean, obviously Civil War is a turning point. Um, the Avengers uh, dynamics uh, as characters, so um, very great stuff from both of these movies. Winter Soldier, I would say, I, I just don't have as much of a connection with as I do with Civil War, but I can totally understand uh, people rating it higher. But for me, personally, I would put Civil War higher, and they're close to interchangeable for me. And now we have the top three Marvel projects um, currently ever made. Uh, top 10%. Because uh, there are, I guess there's 31 Marvel projects, but, um, you know, whatever. Anyway. Uh, number three. Now, this is going to blow some people away. Uh, Endgame is um, number three. Uh, Endgame is an uh, incredible, incredible film. Um, I would say that, of course, the first act is crucial to the plot of the film and to the overall plot of the entire MCU. Um... But it is grueling to rewatch it. And I mean, a lot of the things that Marvel has going for it is the rewatchability of these movies. Um, the only, I mean, it's really the only reason it is not any higher. If the first act had been an enjoyable, continual watch, I mean, th this would blow Infinity War out of the water. Um, spoiler alert Infinity War is number one. I guess I'll just put them uh, in order now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the end game was just crazy. Like, in, in it was just amazing. Uh, great, obviously, great fan service near the end. Um, Caplifting Mjolnir is probably my favorite uh, cinematic moment in history. Because um, I have such an emotional um, connection with Captain America. Captain America, uh, the first Avenger, was the first movie I went to see in theaters. Uh, well, I guess, first actual not animated <laughs> uh, viewing experience. I was eight years old uh, with my dad, and um, while he doesn't really share the connection I have with Marvel, he um, took me to see a movie that I ended up you know, falling in love with, and um, this whole universe has just been such an important part of my life, so um, naturally, um, you know, his arc had more meaning to me than any of the others so far. Um, Endgame was really good. Uh, definitely, I mean, definitely top three uh, so far. I think that's indisputable. Um, because, I mean, while the first act is boring, it is super important, super crucial, and it was done very well. I mean, I don't think they could have done it any better. So, for that reason, it belongs in the top three spot. Uh, the, um, I don't think it belongs any higher than that, though. And I could see, I mean, I could see other people putting it elsewhere, but I personally disagree. Uh, number two is No Way Home. Um, I already explained my love for this movie. It just came out of the theaters like two hours ago-ish. It is currently 2.35 a.m. as you can see in the bottom right of my screen. Um, but I, I just... This movie was incredible. Um, Marvel really did out outdid themselves with everything. Um, I just... I, like I said, you need, you need to see this movie if you haven't. Um, go see it before you get spoiled. Um, so yeah, uh, and number one is undoubtedly Infinity War. In my in my eyes, um, Infinity War is a perfect cinematic experience, a perfect film. Um, there is not a single moment in Infinity War that is unimportant to the plot. There's always something happening, but it doesn't feel rushed. It feels crucial. It feels threatening, or you know, like really important. It is. This movie is a masterpiece in cinema. I, I, I just, I can't, I can't see anybody, you know, disputing that reasonably. Um, Infinity War also has probably the best ending out of any uh, Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, besides No Way Home, maybe. Um, but, I mean, No Way Home, the different vibe. Uh, but <clears throat> Infinity War just, I mean, it was... Definitely the most incredible theater experience um, I had. Um, it was just, it was just. 
I think I think if anybody is sharing these opinions, they they feel they feel the they, they understand what I'm uh, I'm feeling like. So, um, you know, Infinity War is just a masterpiece, and I I wish I could go back in time and watch this movie for the first time again and ball my eyes out at the end again. Um, after the snap, um, I mean, obviously it had its Infinity War was probably the most important film, um, in the MCU so far. Um, because I mean, the blip has still had massive effects on everybody, on everything uh, in the universe. So, um, I mean, it, it was just so amazing that they were able to make it th as good as it was. I don't think I'd be astonished to have any Marvel production beat Infinity War. It would be a, it would be insane. It would be insane. Um, so looking at my list again, uh, just looking at it, I think I'm going to actually put my what if in, I'm going to put it, oh, just because I feel like I have to now, uh, I'm going to put what if in the bottom of B, just because I don't know where and exactly in B it would go, uh, but I think it belongs in the B tier, because it had its weak episodes, uh, but it was super good. In certain episodes, it just suffered from some weird uh, plots, um, or uh, especially the first episode. I mean, the first episode, uh, first episode fell super short. Um, <laughs> I was very excited to see Captain Carter, but she did not. Uh, yeah, you know, I think I think you know what I mean if you've seen the show. Um, but yeah, I mean, if this this list is pretty pretty accurate to my true thoughts and beliefs i think it's pretty good to me um yeah uh thanks for watching uh i would love to talk with more people about no way home if you've seen it already uh or even this list uh feel free to put your thoughts in the comments below and i will be sure to read and respond um it's not like anybody can really change my thoughts on many of these movies though unless you convince me to rewatch them and maybe try to notice some things but um yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to end it here. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, maybe I'll make another Marvel video in the future. We shall see. But like I said, until then, have a wonderful night or day or evening or whatever you're having, I guess.